In this video, I will show you how to create a dependent dropdown in Google Sheet. Consider I have this data set, the main category on a table and the subcategory are in column wise. If I click on my main table, click any of the options, it will only show me the related options. And if I change this to let's say fruit, it will only show me the option related to fruit. And not only this, we can delete the rows in between and our drop down will still work fine. And not only this, we can insert a new header and a new rows for these and our drop down will work fine. How we can create? I will show you each and everything in this video. Consider I have this data set. The first thing I will select all of my data set and we need to convert this into a table format. Now I will rename my table, let's say data. And now I will click on my list sheet. We need to convert all of this data set into a table format. Right click, convert to a table. And for this table, I will write, let's say list. Now I will click on my main table. We need to insert a drop down. I will click on this arrow key. Edit column type, drop down. For the criteria, we need to select drop down from a range. Select data range, click here. And now click on list sheet. In this case, I will select the entire first row. So I will click on the first row. And this will select the entire first row. Hit OK. Now scroll a little bit downside, click on advanced option. In this case, I like the arrow format, hit turn button and this is how we create a drop down on a table. The next thing we need to create a drop down for subcategory. I will rename this column, let's say subcategory. And now I will create formula for subcategory drop down. Click on E2. Simply type equal by row function, open parenthesis, what is the array or range? In this case, I want to loop through every category item. So if I select my entire category column, you can see data category is nicely labeled. I will increase the width of formula bar a little bit and click on formula bar, hit comma. Now we need to define lambda function, open parenthesis. What is the name for the first array? I will simply define, let's say, x, hit comma. And for the formula expression, we need to type xlookup function. Open parenthesis. What is the lookup value? In this case, my lookup value is the whole category column. But we already defined this in by row function. So I will simply write x, hit comma. The next is the lookup range. So for the lookup range, I will click on list. And now if I select my entire table header, you can see it's automatically pick the name of table along with the header row. Hit comma. And what range you want to return? In this case, I will select the entire table. And now you can see it's picked the whole table name. Hit comma. And for the missing value, I will simply type double quotation mark close parenthesis and now close parenthesis for by row function hit enter we get an error if i hover the mouse you can see result should be a single row so i will click on formula and before x lookup we need to type transpose function open parenthesis and simply close parenthesis on the end hit enter and this is how we get all of the subcategory name based on our selection. So if I change the option to let's say beverages, each and everything is dynamically updated. The next thing I will click on E2 again, hit Ctrl X this time, insert a new worksheet, click on A1, hit Ctrl V. Now this is the easiest way to transfer any formula to another sheet with the same reference. Now I will click on my main table again. Click on this arrow. Edit column type. 
click on drop down drop down from a range select data range click here click on sheet 5 in this case i will select the entire first row but before hitting ok we need to type equal sign and if you did not do this tip your dependent drop down will not work hit ok scroll a little bit more click on advanced option in this case i like the arrow format hit done button and now our subcategory drop down is ready if i select let's say this again to fruit now here you can see error message and now if i click on my drop down it will only show me the name of fruit now we don't need this sheet so i will right click and hide this sheet i hope you like the video and learn something useful if you like the video please subscribe my channel for more video